Welcome once again to Seto Ale Ale Edu TV. It is me once again coming your way. My name is Henry Edem. We are going to continue with where we stopped. That is the um, negative or the inverse of a vector. And then we'll continue till the end. Okay. The last time we went through the introduction of vectors. We went through how to get the magnitude and bearing form of a vector. We went through how to get the component or the Cartesian component form of the vector. And then we went through um, some few examples. I also gave an, ex uh, um, an assignment on the things we did. And I made mention of the fact that today we'll be continuing with the negative or the inverse of a vector. In actual sense, we went through two methods of finding the Cartesian component form. In other words, the column form of a vector. So then we are good to go. As we move on, we see the essence of both approaches. Now, as I said earlier, we are going to continue with the negative or inverse of a vector. So negative of negative or the inverse form of a vector. Okay, so when we talk about the inverse or the negative of a vector, we are looking at how the opposite of a vector works. In other words, when we take the vector AB, I told you last time that vector AB simply means that the vector from A to B. All right, that is simply what it means, a vector AB. So if you are looking for the negative or the inverse of a vector, or the inverse of vector AB, then it simply means you are looking at from, so let's say, inverse of AB. It simply means you are looking at from B to A. That is basically what we are going to look at. That is basically what you are going to look at. So then let me look at the definition of it. Though I've already explained, the definition will also serve some purpose. If vector AB is a vector, then the negative or the inverse of the vector AB is given by, so then this is the vector. So like I was explaining, the vector from A to B is the inverse of vector AB, which is the inverse of from A to B, is from B to A. That is the offset. Okay? So then if you are looking at the vector AB and we are looking at the inverse, the inverse of vector AB is actually BA. Okay? It is actually BA because it is what? The opposite. Now the negative, the inverse is virtually the same as the negative. In other words, the negative is used to describe the inverse. And when we talk about negative, if we are talking about negative AB or the vector of negative AB, literally it is minus AB. That is what it means. So if the inverse of AB, okay, or then uh, yeah, if the inverse of AB is BA from this explanation, and then also we say the negative of AB. It's literally minus AB. Then it means that these two things can be equated because AB is that, and then AB is also that. That is, the inverse of AB is that, and then the inverse of AB is also that. So then it simply means that BA is the same as minus AB. Let me go through this once more. I said that 
So we are talking about a vector in uh, this case, vector AB. It is the same as from A to B or the vector from A to B. And then the inverse of the vector from A to B is actually from B to A. We are talking about the inverse of something. We are looking at the, um, in other words, you can say the, the reverse of it or you can say the converse of it. So then we, we can say the, or the inverse of AB or the inverse of A to B is the same mm. as B to A. And then we are also looking at the negative. So we are talking about negative literally, okay, or mathematically. We can say that vector AB, the negative of it mathematically is this. So if this is given as this, if the inverse of this, okay, if the inverse of this is this, and the negative of this is also this, then it means we can equate both of them, given as BA is equal to minus AB. That is basically what it means. That is basically what it means. Now, the inverse and the negative, they mean the same thing. But I'm only using them separately to explain this point. So then, if that is the case, then it means when we are given vector BC, and we have to find the inverse of vector BC, it is the same as minus CB. All right? Which is also the same as... Um, Sorry, minus BC, which is the same as CB. In other words, when I have vector PQ, it is the same as, the inverse of it is the same as what? QP. And then it is the same as minus PQ. Are you okay? So then that is it. Let me add one more example. Let's say we have um, V w all right vector vw then the inverse of vw is the same as minus vw all right and then it can also be written as wv okay so that is what is meant by the vector the, the negative or the inverse of a vector okay it is very basic and simple very basic and simple now let's look at how to apply the inverse to the magnitude bearing form of a vector as well as the Cartesian component form of a vector now if this is okay, with this, and then uh, let's say okay, twelve kilometers, and then one two seven degrees. So let's say we have vector AB to be equal to this. Now, this is the magnitude bearing form of a vector. So then if you want to get the negative of it, if you want to get the negative of it or the inverse of it, it simply means that the inverse of AB is supposed to be written as minus AB. All right, minus AB. Are you getting it? And if that is the case, then it means that we are supposed to minus AB, we are supposed to get the minus of the magnitude and then the bearing, the magnitude bearing form. Are you okay? Now, with this part understood, let's look at how to apply this on the magnitude bearing form. Now, this is how we go about it. To apply this 
on the negative on the magnitude bearing form, this is what happens. The kilometers or the distance, in other words, the magnitude is not touched. So it is maintained as it is. But then, for the bearing, this is the condition we use. If the number in the bearing is more than 180, we, add, we subtract it from 180. But then, if it is less than 180, we add it to 180. So this number we have here is definitely less than 180. So it means we are going to add 180 to it. So it's going to be 127 plus 180. That is what will give us the negation or the negative form of the vector AB. So this is going to become 12 kilometers. And then this one, when you sum it up, you get uh, 350. No, it's not 350. 307. 307 degrees. 307 degrees. 307 degrees. So that is how the negative or the inverse of a magnitude bearing form of a vector works okay now let's take another example let's take another example you have So in this case, you realize that with the first one, we have vector PQ to be seven centimeters and then 074 degrees. We are asked to find the inverse of it. Now to get to the inverse, we know that vector PQ is the same as Q P, that is vector QP, which is also the same as minus PQ. So to write the inverse of it, you can present it either by this or by that. Either way, it's accepted. So then we have vector QP, which is the inverse of PQ, now going to become 7 centimeters and then 74 degrees plus 180 degrees gives you what 254 degrees okay that is what is going to be your answer now let's look at the second question the second question gives us vector mn to be equal to 11 meters and then 197 degrees 
Now to get the inverse of it, you can represent it by minus mn, like I explained in the first example. All right. So you can either choose this to represent your inverse, or you can choose this to represent your uh, your, your inverse. So then I chose this one to represent my uh, my inverse in the first question, and then I am choosing this one to represent my inverse in the second question. So that you realize you can use either of them in uh, representing your inverse. So mn, vector, uh, inverse of vector mn. Like I said, you replace, you repeat this, which is 11 meters. But then this one, in this case, it is bigger than 180. So since it is greater than 180, we subtract 180 from it to get the required answer. So then this is going to be 180 that is 197 minus 180 okay so now this is going to become 11 meters and then 197 minus 180 is 17 degrees all right but remember in writing bearings we always write it in three digits so even if it is one digit for instance if it were to be seven um, degrees we would have written it as what zero zero seven degrees okay so even if it is zero 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 degrees if it is even zero degrees I suppose to write it as what zero 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 degrees so it should always be in three digits so this is what you have 11 meters and then zero one seven degrees so the third one you try and hand at it by yourself Try and hand us the third one by yourself. Good. So with that understood, let's look at how to represent the inverse of a vector uh, using the uh, Cartesian component 4. Using the Cartesian component 4. You know that with the Cartesian component form, we have AB to be equal to minus AB and that is the same as BA. Alright? Now, if we have AB to be x y then the inverse of it which happens to be minus a b just as we apply the negative to it we are going to apply the negative to this too so it's going to be minus into bracket x y which will now become minus x minus y so with the cartesian component form it is very easy and straightforward all you have to do is to apply the negative to both of the values the x and the y coordinate so let's take an example let's take one example find the inverse of vector U V All right, so we say U V is minus five twelve. But then we are looking at the inverse. So if it is the inverse we are looking for, like I explained with the magnitude, um, the magnitude bearing form, the UV, the vector of UV is actually the same as, the inverse of UV is actually the same as VU. All right? 
and then and then it is also the same as minus u v so in this case if we want the inverse of u v it means we can replace it with what v u all right and that is the same as minus into bracket minus 5 and then 12 and that gives us negative times negative gives us positive 5 the negative times positive gives us what negative 12 so that is the inverse we have got for vector v vector u v actually So with this understood, now let's take this question. Okay, so looking at these two examples, we are to find vector CB and then vector UV, given vector BC and vector VU respectively. So in this case, we have BC to be 3, 4 and VU. to be 3 minus 6 and we are asked to find the value of CB that is vector CB so in this case we say that CB we know CB is the same as inverse or negative of what BC and if that is the case, then it means that minus 3, 4 will give us the answer for minus BC or minus vector BC. So negative times that is negative 3, negative times that is negative 4. Therefore, CB is equal to minus 3, 4. Let's look at the VU as well. We know that VU vector vu is the same as the inverse or negative of what sorry um, vector uv is equal to the negative or the inverse of what vu so we can represent it like this and then we have minus into bracket 3 minus 6 so then this becomes minus 3 plus or positive Six, and that is the answer for uv i'll be coming back to this and we will uh, we'll be looking at more examples of this so then um, let's move on to the scalar of a vector 
Let's look at the scalar of a vector. Let's look at the scalar of a vector. The scalar of a vector. Now, with the scalar of a vector, with the scalar of a vector, we are talking about how to multiply a vector by um, a, uh, by an expression, or in other words, by a term. Okay, how to multiply a vector by a term. So that is basically what the scalar of a vector means. Okay, so let's look at this. F vector AB is equal to XY. And the scalar And the scalar is equal to k. Then the scalar of AB is this. And that is equal to kxy, which will actually become kx and then ky. That is what is meant by the scalar. That is what is meant by the scalar. All right. Now the k is an integer. Her k is an integer. Her k is an integer. Now, let's look at, this is how we apply it to the, uh, the uh, Cartesian component form of a vector. Now, let's look at how to apply the scalar to the um, magnitude, uh, magnitude bearing form of a vector. Let's look at how to do that. Let's look at how to do that. With the same vector a b, with the same vector a b, this time around being um, k meters, let's change the k, let's make it x meters, and then a b c degrees. It means that the scalar only multiplies the uh, the magnitude of the magnitude bearing form. So this is what it means. If I have K A B, in other words, if I'm finding the scalar of the magnitude bearing form here, it means that this K here is going to multiply only the X. So then this time it becomes K X meters. All right. And then the A B C is repeated. That is basically it. Now let's look at some examples. Let's look at some examples. So example one. Example 
example one. 